Bleeding during pregnancy can happen in any trimester. You have bleeding in the first trimester, bleeding in the second trimester, and bleeding in the third trimester. And one of the serious causes of bleeding during pregnancy is something called abrupture of the placenta, which is a separation of the placenta from its site of the insertion on the uterus. This happens in one to two percent of the pregnancies. And depending on the time where it happens during pregnancy, the symptomatology changes and the effect on the pregnancy changes. This can happen early in pregnancy and we call it like a subchorionic bleed or a small separation of the placenta. First trimester, the patient presents with a little spotting, a little bleeding. Most of the time, with rest and some medication, this separation heals and seals and the bleeding stops and the pregnancy continues normally. But in a small amount of situations, this does not happen and the separation continues to grow and the retroplacental clot continues to grow and sometimes you might lose the pregnancy early on because of some contractions in the uterus. The main problem with this abrupture if it happens in the third trimester, when the baby is formed and we're ready to deliver and then a patient presents to you with contractions and bleeding and then you're looking at the ultrasound and you can see that there is a large blood clot behind the uterus. If this happens, this is very dangerous to the pregnancy and you do have to deliver. The danger is for the baby because the blood supply basically is cut and it's not getting to the baby and if we don't act fast and deliver either vaginally or by C-section depending on where we are in pregnancy and how far dilated you are, the baby might not make it, might die. And this is also very risky to the mother because if you bleed too much, sometimes the uterus does not contract and you continue to bleed and then you're going to need transfusion and sometimes you might end up needing admission to the ICU and in some rare instance you might need to remove the uterus because the bleeding does not stop from that uterus. So abrupt placenta is a very serious condition. You do need to be aware of it. You do need to basically um, identify the symptoms whenever they happen and act on it as quick as possible. Be ready, prepare blood, prepare operating room, prepare the NICU team for the baby so you get the best pregnancy outcome. What are the symptoms of that? Like I mentioned, one, bleeding, two, pain. Those are the two things that the mom would see. On the baby, if you're putting a mom on the monitor, you might see a non-reassuring fetal heart, like a drop in the heartbeat of the baby, and stuff like that, that tweaks you toward uh, thinking about an abrupt placenta. Can we predict or anticipate that? Most of the time it's not predictable, but there is some risk factors for abrupt placenta. And the main risk factors are hypertension. So if somebody has high blood pressure, or if he has preeclampsia, which is high blood pressure in the pregnancy with, with a protein in the urine with some other symptoms, you have to keep this in the back of your mind. If somebody has trauma to the belly, like a car accident or somebody hit you in the belly, it's always important to check the placenta to make sure it didn't separate. Doing drugs like cocaine or smoking or any of these can sometimes increase the risk of having an abrupt placenta. If you do have a large uterus that with a rupture of the membrane, it can cause a siphoning effect and suck the placenta down, it can separate. The same can happen if you have twins with a large uterus, you deliver the first one, the second one, the placenta can separate. Those are briefly some of the risk factors of uh, abrupt placenta. So, as for us obstetrician, it's very important to keep this in the back of our mind. Any bleeding, painful contraction with the bleeding, and any of the risk factors I just mentioned, we have to keep the abrupt placenta in our mind and to act on it fast to have the best pregnancy outcome.